Alright, this is just a little... Oh my god, the focus. Okay. This is just a little update on how alarm panel stuff is going. I haven't made, like, an alarm test in a long time. I mean, I made a little video on the radionics panel. Yep, finally got a radionics panel. It's a D7212 that my friend Deco Fanblade. Check him out on my YouTube featured channels list. He actually kindly gave me that panel, so... I have a radionics panel to deal with now. I mean, I already had one, it was D6412, but I have another one now, and it's a better one that uses, uses those vacuum fluorescent keypads. Anyway, off topic. This is a Simon XT. Uh, it's not very common here, and I'm not entirely sure how I got it, but <laughs> it works. And it's one of those all-in-one panels, so it's not the best, but it's perfect for this so it's mainly wireless but it has two zones that can be wired I'll open it up maybe okay we'll try. okay the tamper alarm better not go off okay thank god oh yeah I disabled the siren so there's actually some zones you can wire on here just two of them and you can wire a dialer there's no battery in here but other than that should be good. So, alarm, 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 press status. System tampered, alarm. System low battery. Enter access code. Alarm cancelled. Okay. Yeah. So, this does work. Now, the sensor on this is so questionable, you don't even know. I don't have door contacts. Or rather, yeah, I have a single door contact out of all the alarm stuff I have and it's on my main door in my bedroom other than that I've been using like tamper sensors and just mounting taping them to the door but yeah I have one singular actual door contact and it's already in use so there's two wires here and it's wired normally closed so if they're touching it's normal but as soon as it opens it's faulted one of them goes down to the strike plate the other one goes up, around, back down, back around, to the deadbolt. So as soon as someone opens this deadbolt, it loses connection between the two, and it shows the panel is faulted. Now the problem with this is you can actually kind of, see if I can get to do it. Yeah, you can push on the door and make it go off. But I mean, I guess just more tamper sensibility, am I right? So... Uh, it works. You open the deadbolt. Sorry about that sound. Yes, it is very painful. It makes screeching noise when you close it. Oh, we see. Not ready. Close it. Light comes back on and we're good. So, let's, uh, let's arm the panel. Now the siren's disabled, as I said, and verified. So, this will be set up with a dialer at some point. I'll plug it into the phone jack out here. That's one of the extensions on my phone system, and I'll have it dial my phone, or I'll make a receiver or something. I'll find something out, but for now, it's just a local alarm that acts as a chime, and siren's disabled. I mean, I can just I can enable that siren, but it's so loud, even with all that tape on it. And our neighbors really don't like alarms, or at least I don't think that they would. So yeah, so let's arm it. Just press doors and windows. Enter my code. Doors and windows on. It sounds British. I don't know why. Anyway, it's arming, so if I turn off the lights out here, it looks really cool, in my opinion. And this whole keypad lights up, too. So you can totally see it and use it out here. This is in the garage. I mean, it's like super dark. And you can totally see the panel just fine, so let me turn that light back on before I trip on something. Yeah, this is just set up in our garage on this side door as auxiliary protection. And here we go, it's almost armed. Okay, it's armed. So now if we look, can you read that? There we go, okay. So it's doors and windows. And I, time is correct, it is 2043 hours. 
So, yeah, panel is armed, and we could either disarm it or set it off. Now, I'm not going to set it off because it just makes more alarm memories I have to clear, and it's the same as when you saw the tamper alarm, so I'm going to open that deadbolt, and you'll see. So now, I just press disarm. Enter access code. Enter my code. Disarmed. And it disarms. So yeah, that's how it works. Turn the lights back on so maybe you can see. Because yeah, it is really dark. Okay, well, there it is. I'm having trouble finding the light switch. <laughs> okay, yep, that's the Simon panel, and that was a really quick and terrible alarm video. But yeah, I just want to show it because I can, and I will hopefully do something with that radionics panel soon. Yeah, so that's it for now.